Welcome back to the Ghostki. I am Green. Today we have another skirmish for ya. Today, um, I was gonna do Gondamon, Siege of Gondamon. However, I decided to do Attack at Dawn because, guess what? It's a different type of skirmish. Because there's like offensive and defensive ones. So, instead of just doing the same one, the same type of one over and over and over, I figured I'd mix it up a little bit. Throw something else in there and, uh... You know, those are all the ones, as you can see, that are open to us as of right now. Um, so I have to go through the storyline a little bit myself and uh, unlock a few of the uh, other offensive ones. So we'll go ahead and get this started. Um, another thing I decided to, well, I neglected to um, mention last time is that... Um, Oh shit, do I need to put this in here? Come back. Oh no, I got all that going. Oh, I know what I need. I need questicles. There we go, that's what I need. Um, I decided to uh, not let you know that you do actually get reputation with these usually. So if you ever need a little bit of, you know, rep or whatnot, you know how to get some of that shit done. Haven't done this one with this guy quite yet. I'm going to song, brother, you. Because this one does get kind of hectic. Um, I did just do this one a minute ago with my um, rune keeper. Oh, man. Yeah, she's going to pull aggro like none other tonight. Um, I did go ahead and do this with my rune keeper. And I uh, had a little bit of trouble with a couple of the um, encounter bosses. They had a shit ton of health. So, therefore, I only did one of them. Uh, depending on what, um, what that looks like on this one with this guy. I'll obviously do them. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I think we'll be fine at this level anyhow. Um, fuck you're fired and shit, you little bastard. What the hell with you? Yeah, you can tell how she really, really pulls a lot of aggro sometimes. Uh, I did have a lot of trouble on this one, too. Herbalist, she was pulling all sorts of shit. But, it is what it is. I'm not too upset with it, because look at that. Out of all of that, we still got all the health we need. So we're good. And we don't have to protect anyone or anything this time. So, um, that is what it is. All right, no, no counterattacks. All right, wonderful. We'll go ahead and go up this way because I'm right-handed and I like to go off to the right for some reason. How are we going to pull this? I'm just yell at you and let bygones be bygones. You do kind of pull anything and everything like from giant directions in this skirmish, so I mean you'll you'll get a lot of that when you play through it on your own. Um, I don't really think this one's all that tough. I actually think this one's kind of neat. Although I did run into a kind of a bug last time. Um, at the very end, my herbalist got locked outside the boss's room, so um, I will try to remedy that situation. I'm not sure why. Um, may have had something to do with one of the monsters that um, we're supposed to come with, like that was a counterattack at the last whatever you want to call it the last little thing you had to capture and one of the monsters decided to just keep running and 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 running so I don't know if that's what held up my herbalist or or if I or if there's a legit problem with her lagging back there and getting caught outside the boss's room. Um, when you go in to, to attack his shit. But it wasn't still wasn't too difficult. Um, may have some trouble going in there. But I don't think so since we should be able to heal ourselves um, quite a bit. And the herbalist is really just just there to be there, you know. I mean, it's she's just some added heals. Which will probably come in handy here once we get to this next part. Because there's shit falling down from the sky and... Catapults are trying to blow your face off and all that. Oh, yeah. Let's see, here they come. Are they gonna start dropping? There we go. Yeah, see how that actually does damage to you too. It sucks ass. So uh, really, uh, this will be a kind of a difficult fight. I'm pretty sure we have enough, more than enough heals to um, remedy the situation. However, if we're stunned the whole damn time, they're just gonna go after our herbalist, which I'm not afraid that she's gonna be tanking. What I am afraid of is those those rocks falling on our heads and shit that's what sucks so we have to kind of uh, go through here and take shit out pretty quick 
Um, this area uh, of the map, this courtyard, and the next one right up here, up the ramp, is where they do a lot of their, um, uh, they have a lot of their encounter, their special encounter monsters and shit spawn. So, if you ever can't find one of them, start here. That's a good place to, to start working on that, because like I said, they, one of them uh, was like right up over there in that little alleyway. It's fucking weird. I know the way they kind of have some of them spawn and, and shit, but, um, where the fuck? Oh, she's still down there. All right. Let's see. Where the hell did our healer go? Our herbalist. But, ooh. Hey, hey, bitch. Trying to bomb me. Fucker. All right. We'll see if we can get any. Oh, there it is. We're going to get a counterattack. Yay. I'm not sure if it's every time. Oh, okay. If it's, uh, if for one every time, but it seems to be that way, and most of the time when I do it, it's always here, so. Let me get out of that. I don't want fucking rocks falling on my head and shit. Blood rooks are pretty cool, by the way. I like, I like these birds. They do some pretty cool effects. Some neat shit. I don't mind, uh, fighting them at all. I remember the first time I fought it, one, I think it kicked my ass. Good times. Good times. It's not ready for whatever the fuck it was gonna throw at me, so. And we really don't have um, any AoE on this guy, so we're pretty much just gonna have to, like, single target shit. So. However, uh, you know, since we've got the heals, it's pretty much okay. Well, since I did level up in between the last uh, episode of Skirmishes and this one, uh, got our brand new and approved Sheer Strike. Ooh, so excited to use that. Not really, I'm really unsure why it's better or how it's better than the last sure strike we have. Oh my god, just had two of these fuckers spawn? Oh, Zimarp, both the, uh, Zimarp, this is, which one are you? Or are you just a counterattack? Oh shit. Now that Zimarp one I have seen before, like I said, I haven't run this, run this, um, skirmish very many times. Only a handful, so this is pretty new to me. Yeah, fuck you damn dogs. Shit, I always lose my fucking mouse when I'm fucking playing this guy for some reason. can never find the damn thing. So much shit to click on, so much going on. So many heals. Maybe I'll get plenty of those. So, um, yeah. These wolves need to die. We'll have to go look for these other two guys. I bet you they're just right around. Shit, what did it say? It said they were... Okay, I feel a trapper. What's that in here? What the hell? Not in the lock. Alright, fine then. I guess we'll just have to go find those two encounter guys on our own. Be all adventurous and shit. Yeah, our DPS is really low. In case you haven't fucking figured that out. We're not, we're not going to end it doing a whole lot of damage, although I do have a a uh, bit of an older weapon. Okay. It's safe to press on. Alright, so where did you fucker spawn? You're not up here. You're not over here. Right, those should be the guys we didn't kill earlier. Although there may have been... Alright, let's go, let's go kill those guys. Let's go see what happens when we kill those guys. So the thing that's kind of nice about these, um... Offensive, offensive type, uh, whatever you want to call it. Ah, there's one of them. It's right there. One of these offensive type uh, skirmishes is you can kind of go at your own pace. It's not like uh, not like the defensive ones where you kind of have to just find a scream at you. Fucking won't let me do anything else, you fucker. Um, you can kind of go at your own pace, and that's very much appreciated sometimes, as opposed to the ones where you need to be at a certain place at a certain time to defend something. That kind of does get old after a while, and if you are looking for a change of pace, low stress one, I think. I mean, like I said, we'll see here if I can if I can bug out our heal, our herbalist again and get her caught outside the boss's room. See if that happens, but hopefully not. But anyhow, we have another blood rook here. I like the blood rooks. They're so fun. So cute. Angry red birds. 
Fucking Herbalist is working overtime back there, isn't she? Lucky for us, we're actually able to keep a relative threat over here. I mean, she hasn't had... When things initially come at us, she's going to pull a shit ton of aggro for some reason, but when we get established here, we're doing well enough to hold these fuckers. And I'm surprised we're actually able to put enough damage on this blood rook to keep it fucking happy and keep it looking at us. And if I wasn't scared of what that other, with the encounter mob down there would be would be doing to us, I would actually go and uh, just tag him right now. And that's where you can where having two people doing these is a lot of, lot easier to to you know just rummage through these skirmishes. You have someone then to can to can ah who can go and tag these fuckers and bring them to you, especially if it's the range. They're both down here, so that's interesting. All right. I thought you were a goblin last time. What the fuck? See, they have a ton of health. Holy shit. These guys got some... Got a lot. It's gonna take some some kill on the... So, yeah, you definitely want to do these solo, like, one at a time if you're if you're doing this by yourself. Because that's, like... I mean, I don't know if you noticed the, um, the account... The lieutenant monster we just killed over there, but that guy hits you, or hits you, has about 11,000 health, and this guy has 26, so he's, I would say, twice as strong as him, because generally, generally, these guys, the, um, encounter, well, not encounter monsters, but generally, health is a good indication of how tough something is in this game, um, because with health comes the damage, usually, and, uh, with the damage, comes, you know, all the buffs and debuffs and shit like that. So, like I said, when you're looking at something that's kind of hefty on the, the HP side, I mean, you're, you're gonna be, you're gonna be in for hurting usually. Like I said, this really put a lot of stress on my Runekeeper when I came through here, but he was also not very well geared. I'm not gonna lie, he's got terrible gear on, so. Alright, so Zymarp and fucking Tharb. Tharb? A hell of a name. I thought, yeah, you know, hmm. Who's the one? I saw one that had a very similar name last time I came through here, and he was in a different spot, so I don't know if they spawn in different areas. They shouldn't, though. They should generally be the same. They are on the Prancing Pony. If a certain one comes out or you get a certain encounter, they're going to be in the exact same spot, so. Like I said, I'll run this one a little bit more on my own so I can figure out, uh, you know, make sure that's... That's true information. I'm not just spewing out bullshit, you know, and just making assumptions. But anyhow, we do have to. <laughs> this is a rather agonizingly slow. These guys, but it is what it is. So it happens when you're a healer and you run this shit. You don't kill stuff very fast. It takes a while. But at least we're not gonna die. He is doing some damage too. Like I said, you look at the. You look at their health and stuff, and usually, like I said, those big damage chunks like that, 300, I mean, that's pretty big. I mean, two, 274, 332, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty hefty damage at this level anyway. For the amount of health that we have, you know, for just a trash mob, you know, you're not going to get that kind of damage. So, like I said, it sets, it sets those guys apart from the other ones, and quite honestly, oof. But honestly, I don't think the uh, Prancing Pony ones we did uh, really did anything close to that much damage that often. But anyhow, we're going to move on up the hill here and uh, capture the next portion of the hill, if you will. Haha, <laughs> you see what I did there? And a bunch of guys on this fucking... Oh my lord, holy fuck. Is there enough of you? Shit. Quite honestly, if you go through this game, especially... um. I find skirmishes to be a lot of fun if you've got another, um... Oh, Jesus. Maybe I should target the right one and try and kill it, right? I find skirmishes to be a lot of fun with a couple of pet classes. Um, those of which being Captain, as as you can see here, is a pet class. And, of course, the uh, Runekeeper, I think, is a pretty good pet, cl pet class as well. Um, just because, I mean, you get the real... Like, even with just two people and plus the soldiers, I mean, that's six... I mean, you're rolling through here with six six soldiers, if you will, including yourself and the other player. If you got a if you've got a lore, key, a lore keeper, lore master running with you, 
Which is what me and uh, Carrot were doing with this character and her lore master. So, a lot of fun, quite honestly. I mean, you get a. Definitely makes um, skirmishes and shit feel very full. Especially if there's just two of you. You know, you really feel like there's a bunch of you going on kicking ass and taking names. And I do believe that the game kind of compensates accordingly. I mean, it's going to spawn more monsters and tougher monsters if there's more people in every skirmish. I probably should have said that when I started this whole thing. But, you know, it, I mean, I guess that kind of goes without saying. You know, ooh, wound taker again. These are fun. I like these things. I like the trolls in this game, just fighting them in general. I find them to be a lot a lot of fun. I find them to be very unique. That's one thing that I do have kind of an issue with, with like other MMOs. I don't like playing WoW. I'm gonna always reference that one because it's the most popular one and you know, I think anyone anyone who's probably watched these LPs has probably played it. If not you're fortunate. But anyway. I, I feel like games like WoW, most games anyway, they make monsters and they don't make them feel unique. You know, um, it's just one of those things where, you, you know, there's just no difference between, you know, one monster from the next. Like when you play, when you play, um, WoW, you, you get monsters that have, you know, just, just normal shit, stuff that keeps you from using your own skills, stuns or, um, or what do you want to call them? Oh, silencers, shit like that. Things that'll just interrupt your shit. That's pretty much all that they have in terms of things that would make a monster unique. They don't have anything that would make, like, like the trolls. When the trolls come out and they start throwing throwing their weight around and they start, uh, you know, hitting you and that's something too. Certain monsters only have stuns or, or are more likely to have stuns and fight in a certain way in this game. They... They differentiate the species quite a bit, whereas, you know, whatever you do, we are going to have a counterattack. So I think I'm going to go down here, because they went running right past here last time, or one of them did. So I'm going to see if I can, you know, at least distract them enough, because, you know, we kind of want our healer in there. The boss is not super difficult. Not a little bit tougher than Goylog, though. I mean, like I said, Goylog's a fucking pushover, I mean... Good guy, you kill him so so fast. But anyway, like that's something too. Like these these wolves, they uh, hit you with a certain injury debuff and shit like that, that inhibits your movement and stuff all the time. So that really makes you know fighting them and if you have to you kill a bunch of them for a deed, you know, a different experience as you would against trolls that are gonna knock you back and throw you around. These things aren't gonna throw you around. I mean, they're just gonna injure you and slow your movement and put some bleeds and debuffs and shit on you you know like I said they make every species kind of different and I like that in the game you know I, I like that sort of thought and that sort of theme you know it makes like I said it makes it makes every uh, you know every troll you encounter you know inhibit like a you know a different feeling you know you're like oh shit here comes this guy especially the daywalkers my god the daywalkers are so fun we saw one of those in uh, all right, this little this little bitch up here. That might have been it. She might have been lagging around, doing something. I wasn't paying too much attention last time. So, hopefully you two are in here. It looks like you are. All right. So this fight, pretty simple. You're gonna fight him, and eventually he's gonna have this little goblin drop down. See, words will come up. I'm unable to move at the present. Where is this guy? There he is. You gotta kill him before you let him escape or some shit. I've never had one escape, so I assume you fail the thing or some shit. I don't know. All I know is you lay into him and... God, God, die. Oof, he took a long time to die. Shit. But anyhow, yeah, he does a lot of AoE, a lot of fire damage and shit. He's not necessarily that tough. Like I said, keep an eye out on the scouts, and that's really what you need to look out for. You know, pull out all the stops. Obviously, if you have a DPS with you or someone who can do a lot of shit like that, much helpful to have them, much more helpful to have them go after it and kill a lot faster. Get all that shit done and over with. Ooh, he's an angry orc. He's gonna knock me all around. Oh, he fucking disarmed me. And with, oh, uh, by the way, if you kill him before he, before that little Ongbers guy gets out of here, instance does end. So, ah ha, ha there you go. Didn't have to kill that guy. 
So, um, usually, we did we did have them spawn mostly over there, so I think that's kind of a thing. They tend to do spawn over there. I think I've had one or two spawn over here. But anyway, claim the banner, collect shit. Always do that, by the way. Don't uh, don't miss the corpse if you have a boss and you know no boss. Make sure you pick that shit up. I think the boxes are for the um, assaults. Make sure you pick up, like I said, loot the corpse. You get your uh, your marks and your bounties and monies and shit like that. But anyway, that's it for this uh, for this skirmish. Forgot what it was called there for a second. Anyhow, so, hey, look at that. Cheese fix this time. Anyhow, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.